What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Get to Work here on Aviator Games And you guys, today we're going to be following Life Simmer to her job as a nurse Hopefully uh, watching her get promoted as well because she deserves it, she's been working hard We need more more cash flow, please Life Simmer get promoted I'm really, really looking forward to moving out of this house, building a bigger, better house someday Or at least adding on to this house for the time being We're getting really close, we almost have six grand, and then maybe one day Starting our own business. Oh my god, a business ran by three simmers. Holy crap. Tell me down below, guys, if you want me, Delegacy, and Life Simmer to start our own business in this series. Say start a business or don't start a business down below in the comments and I'll know. But you guys, before we do get into this episode, if you guys are watching right now and you have the ability to slap that like button, please... Please, please, slap that like button, you guys. Let's go for 1,500 likes on this episode. If we get 1,500 likes, I will do another episode of this ASAP. As soon as we hit 1,500 likes, you guys unlock another episode. Okay, so we're going to join her on her shift in the hospital today. So she needs to treat two patients. As soon as she treats two patients, we're good to go. She gets promoted. Well, she'll be on her way to being promoted. Hopefully, she can get promoted in one day here at work. I I'm crossing my fingers right now, you guys. Uh, Delegacy almost got promoted again yesterday on her own, which is awesome. Very impressive, Delegacy. But right now, we have to focus on Life Simmer. Okay, so. Five hours, that is a lie. And a half. Okay, so maybe five hours on this series alone. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's how it does work. Five hours on this save. Okay. Um, let's see. So right now, how, how close is she to promote it? Eh, a little over 50%. So right now we got to kind of examine some of these patients. There are a couple patients here to treat. So what we're going to do is just treat these patients. That's our that's what we have to do basically to um get the promotion or to guarantee ourselves the promotion. Then we got to research and then we have to diagnose a couple new patients with um their illnesses and we'll be good. So there's one patient cured. Look at Dr. Dr. Uh, Life Simmer. Look at this. This is just... She is such a helpful person, guys. Look at that. Look at... Look at... You can just see... I want to eat your soul! <laughs> now, you can just see the help. The help in, in Life Simmer's eyes there. Okay, so let's see. Continue your help. Continue treating the patients. Patient cured. Okay. So, she got her two patients cured. And that's all she needed. Now, we just have to make sure she has an amazing day at work. Maybe work some overtime. And she should be good to go. She should get promoted. If we cross our fingers. Okay, so that's done. We have another person. We have to admit this patient to a bed. Okay, come on. We'll admit you to this bed. We have to check patient's eyes and swab a patient. So what we're going to do is examine the eyes. And then we're going to swab for a sample. Um, there's that one. Discuss general health with a patient. That's something we can do. Let's discuss her general health. Then we got to analyze the sample and practice bioanalysis. Okay, so we got that. Look at this. We are killing it today. Check her ears. We're giving her full exam. She's going to feel poked apart. Oh, no. No brain. No brain. All these Sims have a serious case of no brain. Look at, look at Life Simmer's face right now. She's like, oh, my God. I just saw that this girl's got no brain. I want to get a picture of this. That girl's big no brain head is in the way. There we go. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so Dr. Life Simmer there. Okay, so she's checked her ears. What else do we have to check? Maybe we can take her temperature. Okay. Let's try that. See see if we can get down to what this is. It's like she's a cop. But instead of trying to solve crime, she's trying to solve illness. And now it's transfer a patient case, which this goes over here to the doctor. And we're going to analyze a sample. There we go. Lillian Cooper. So let's analyze her sample, and then we are going to... We already transferred the case, so there we go. So he's going to go diagnose her, and then we can treat her later on. He might treat her, too. No, nope, we got to treat her still. Okay, so we analyzed her sample. Now let's practice analysis. And we got to log the sample results. Okay, so let's see. Stop practicing. Let's log the sample results, and let's chit-chat with her really quick. Let's just ask her about her day. We got to see how that's going. If you're going to be a good nurse, you have to ask and chit chat with the patients. Okay, so we're going to finish logging the results so everyone knows what she once had. Then walk over here and chit chat with her. Okay, perfect. Now we have to get another patient in here, though, because we have to swab and, and, and ask her about her health. Let's see. Is there any puddles here? Any messes? Here's a puddle. 
Let's mop up that. Look at this. We're doing amazing today. We're only halfway through our work day. We've already treated two patients. We've already really diagnosed this one over here, Lillian. We're, we're just, we're killing it today, guys. Okay, let's go mop up this puddle. There we go. Puddle mobbed up. We don't need to mop up any more puddles. Make a bed. Okay, is there any beds not made? This one's not made. We're killing it today, guys. We are absolutely killing it. Okay, we're in silver. Now let's go um, admit this patient to a bed. And we gotta deliver medicine. She needs a shot. Okay, what does this girl need? Uh, medicine! Yay! So we're gonna admit this patient to her bed. And we're gonna treat this patient. What's her name? Vivian Lewis. So let's treat Vivian Lewis here. And... There we go. She didn't want to drink it at first, but there you go. She is cured and ready to move on with her life. Now what we're going to do is come in here. <laughs> Our other patient hasn't had food yet, so we'll probably have to deliver her some food, but we're going to first make sure this girl's okay and not dying of anything. Then we can deliver Lillian food. So who is this? Eve. Okay, so we're going to check on you, Eve. Is Lillian's an adult too. Okay, they're both adults. Okay, so there's the general health. And we still got to swab her, so let's go examine and swab has recently been taken. Oh, okay, it did. Okay, so now let's examine her ears. So let me check your ears real quick. You're not going to let me check your ears? Let me check your ears. There we go. Okay, so now all we have to do is let's clean this one. Because this machine needs to be cleaned, otherwise it's not going to be very effective. Then let's analyze the sample from Eve. Oh, the workday's almost over. We are going to stay late. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stay late and work our butts off today. Okay, so the sample's almost analyzed. Now we got a practice analysis. And we did get the golden medal today, so Life Simmer could get promoted. Potentially. It's going to uh, it's gonna be close. I don't know. It's going to be very close. Everything we do, we inch closer and closer, guys. Let's deliver some medicine. Do any of these people need medicine? What? Examine her. We could discuss her general health. That's something we still have to do. Stop practicing analysis. Okay, so there we go. It's discussed. Is there anyone? Is there anyone that needs to be treated? She needs to be treated. Examine patient. She's been completely examined. Tree patient. Okay, let's give her a shot. She needs to get out of here. Transfer patient case to the doctor, which we can do. Let's do that so Eve can get diagnosed. Then maybe we can give her her, um, her medicine. Let's go admit this guy Malcolm to his his little... Is this land grab? That is land grab. So we'll admit him to a patient bed. Come on, Malcolm. Yes, the hospital's full again today, obviously. Okay, so we're going to check eyes first. And let's try to swab for a sample here. We're, we are getting pretty tired. Okay, so we just swabbed. I don't know if that was a successful swab. I think we dropped it. Okay, we got to swab for a sample. Oh, no. We are really worn out. We're just making mistake after mistake right now. Oh, geez. Okay, we're starving. And we can't stop making mistakes. Come on, Life Simmer. You can do this. End of shift. Okay, we got promoted to medical assistant. She makes $12 more an hour for $35 an hour. She got $256 bonus. X-ray machines are now available for use at work. You can give medical advice, give bad medical advice. Um, and we earn $240. Awesome. So Life Summer got promoted to medical assistant. Holy crap. We're moving up in the world, guys. And that's all that matters. Just moving on up <laughs> to the east side. I don't know what I'm saying, but we are moving up, guys. We are moving up. Okay, so... Now that she's been promoted to medical assistant, she works Sunday through Thursday. Okay, good. What level is this? Three? Yeah. Okay, so she's a level three medical assistant. She has to treat three patients. See, she is like starving. Oh, no. Okay, so let's see. So we have some BLTs. Let's um, dispose of all these nasty little things. So she's going to eat. Then she can use the bathroom. She's been at the hospital all day. She should probably take a shower and then watch some TV. And now I'm back from work, so I'm going to chill and watch some whatever TV they're watching. It looks like the news. Long day of work for all of us. 
doctor, scientist, and uh, cop. So what I'm gonna do is probably grab some food. Cause I'm pretty hungry and then I can always, uh, not cloud gaze, I wanna watch some TV. Let's, uh, watch some more sports. There we go. And then we can use the toilet and maybe take a good shower ourselves. Then we gotta pass out, guys. It has been a really, really, really long day. So we're gonna just try to get as much sleep as possible. Now, Delegracy, what are you doing? Okay, everyone's watching TV. Everyone's relaxing right now, and it's 8 o'clock. I think I'm gonna <clears throat> have Delegracy go to bed. And now I'm gonna go get ready for bed. And Life Simmer, you should probably go to bed too. It's already 8.30. So there we go. Everyone's gonna be asleep in just a second. We had a very, very long day. But now we have $6,500. We're well on our way to having enough money to upgrade this house a little bit. Maybe open a business. Like, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I think when we have, like, $10,000, that's plenty of money to open up a pretty decent business. Um, and that's something we might give a shot to. Uh, because this is a get-to-work let's play. But I do want to beat all the careers. That's something I really want to do. So we might have to see. We might have to see. Um, I don't want anyone to have to quit their job, so we might only have to open the business like when we're not working. When someone, whoever has an off day, basically they'll run the business. And I think that'll be pretty cool. That'll be a fun little like day off project that we can make more money on our days off. You guys know me. I'm all about making some extra cash here and there. Okay, so she's going to go to the bathroom. Then she can go take a shower. She can serve some breakfast today because we're running low on food. I usually cook everything. Uh, Life Simmer, she just woke up. She can actually go paint something. Because she's been painting, trying to earn us a little bit of extra money here and there. So we'll let her attempt to do that. Any money is worth, or we'll take in with open arms at this point. Uh, okay, so she's cooking. Oh man, this counter is dirty. This counter is filthy. It is straight up disgusting. Okay, so when she's done, she can grab a dish. And what I'm going to do is, we got to clean this. We have to clean this. Oh, that is disgusting. Okay, so let's clean all these dishes up. Whatever's left on the lot, let's get it all cleaned up. Jesus. Look at all this mess that's always caused. We're going to send Christina alone on her day of work today. She's going to eat, and then she has to head off to work. Let's put this away. Go ahead, put it away. Now, did we shower this morning? No, we didn't. We didn't even use the bathroom yet. Okay, so go to the bathroom. Nice brisk shower so we can have that energy we need to take on the work day. I want to make sure Christina gets to work, so let's just have her go now. And away she goes. Okay, now me. I'm going to join myself in my career today because I think we just we got one thing to do, and I at least want to accomplish that. And we could probably get promoted within, like, one more work day. Or at least have it done so he can get promoted on his own, just doing his own thing. Okay, so on our way to work. <laughs> Get to work. That's the title of the series and the title of the expansion. Okay, so Christina's out to work. I'm out to work. So what we got to do is one thing he needs is to interrogate a suspect. Suspects can be interrogated at the police station after being arrested after an all points bulletin. Okay, so I have to exercise for an hour, issue an all points bulletin. There's a lot of stuff we have to do. Where's the exercise equipment? Is that upstairs? I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's work out. For an hour so we don't get chubby. We're trying to be a cop here, so we probably should stay in, in shape as much as we possibly can. So we're going to exercise here. And when we're done, we're going to issue an all points bulletin again, even though we were having a really hard time finding the criminal last time. Okay, no more working out. Get fingerprints at booking station. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's get fingerprint of River. So let's fingerprint River here. See what he's all about, what he's up to. Let's go get River. River, we're laying you out so we can fingerprint you and process you. So we can catch you with future crimes you commit. Okay, so now you're in a database. Is there anything else we have to do to you? Browse the police database. Okay, so let's lock in cell. River. Okay, so River, go back to your cell. And I am going to browse the police database. So get up and get off your computer, because here I come. Okay, here we go. Let's sit down. Let's browse the piece, police database. There we go. We're just kicking people off their computers today. Okay, done. Is this broken? No, it's not. Okay, get criminal's fingerprints again? Okay, fingerprint um, Tyrone. 
Let's go get his fingerprints. We gotta continue processing this guy. This guy can go back on his computer now. It's like, I don't know what to do. Emilio Charles, he's a detective. What are we right now? A corporal. Okay, so we are a corporal. Come on, guys. Let's book him. Okay, so he is scanned. Is there anything else we need to do with this criminal exercise? Another hour? Well, we could do it. Why not? You know, let's, let's lift some weights now. What I'm going to do, though, I am going to stay late today because I want to make sure we have time to go on that all points bulletin and try to catch this criminal. So let's work out again. Two hours of our workday was spent to... To get in ripped, to get in pumped, <laughs> doing a super set. <laughs> okay, gnarly. Okay, keep lifting. I gotta get as strong as possible. Okay, there we go. Now, what else do we have to do? Exercise again? Okay, well let's work out over here. Okay, now we're gonna try to stay skinny and fit. They just want us exercising today. They don't like us being chubby. And we now are fitness level two, okay. And there we go. We probably should get a home gym. That should be something we, we take. Okay, let's go on patrol. Uh, okay, we have to get out of our fitness clothes. Okay, let's go on patrol. Don't I just click me to go on patrol? Uh, patrol the streets to improve the relationship of the, of the citizens and citations. How do I go? Oh, I have to go on the board, right? Yeah, the board downstairs. Okay, so let's, uh, let's issue an all points bulletin. And maybe that will not go on patrol at the same time. Okay, there we go. Issued an all points bulletin for this criminal. We couldn't find her last time. We know she's a female with like gray hair and everything. It's been very difficult to find her though. <laughs> like everyone we tried to arrest was the wrong person and we almost got fired because of it last time. Okay, so they're in this area. They match the description. Okay, so let's go see who's in this area. So the suspect is female, she's got gray hair, she's wearing a short sleeve shirt and a skirt. She's ambitious and she's old. Okay, so she's old, gray hair, short sleeve shirt and skirt. Hmm. Now she's not old and this suspect does have gray hair. So we gotta keep that in mind. Let's see, where is she? Where would I be if I was a criminal? That's the police station. Okay, so I'm watching. I'm watching this area. Let's go by us, see what's going on over here. We're going to head into this building here and hope for the best. So let's go uh, arrest the suspect. Now let's ask about a su our suspect. I haven't seen anyone like that around here. Well, you know, that's because you're all liars. Short sleeve shirt, gray hair, no skirt. Okay, let's go ask her about this person. I just saw someone like that a while ago over there. Sorry, but I can't help you. Okay, so no one knows who this girl is. Hmm. This is this has been a very hard case to crack, you guys. We have not been able to find anyone that matches the description. None of the citizens know anyone that matches the description. Okay, so there, that's not an old lady. That's not an old lady. Even if it was, she's not wearing a skirt. Okay, and that's not old lady. Now she's old, but she that doesn't have a skirt on or a short sleeve shirt. I feel like we have misinformation here. Okay, let's keep going. Here's a skirt and a short sleeve shirt. She is not old lady. Does not have gray hair. Dang it. Dang it, why is it so hard? Okay, let me uh, let me ask about the suspect. Um, do you guys know anything? Isn't that a him right there? You guys are stupid. It's a girl. Unless I'm not telling you all the clues. I haven't seen anyone like that. Okay, so short sleeve shirt and a skirt. I feel like we got misinformation, and that is leading to the hardest arrest. Of all time. What's this? Nope, short, short. She's got shorts on and a sweatshirt. Jesus. You guys, this criminal, she's a mastermind. I feel like we have misinformation. Where am I? Let's go back to the police station. 
That's none of those are a guy or girl or whatever's misleading about this whole situation. But you guys, I think this is a great place to wrap up this episode. If you guys did enjoy yourself at all, make sure you slap that like button up and as it really does help the channel grow, it helps more people see the videos and it makes my day, you guys. Also, if you watch the whole episode, comment down below the secret phrase, um, <laughs> where is she? Because literally, we can't find her. Comment down below, where is she? And I'll know you watched the whole video. But until next time, guys, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.